This morning, federal and state authorities want to break up Facebook. The world's largest social media company hit with two major lawsuits, one by the Federal Trade Commission, the other by attorneys general in 46 states. Both lawsuits allege Facebook illegally crushed its competition, violating antitrust laws and creating a monopoly. The commission's requested relief includes unwinding Facebook's prior acquisitions of Instagram and WhatsApp and barring Facebook from engaging in additional anti-competitive practices. Facebook New York's Attorney General Letitia James is leading the lawsuit by the state, alleging if companies stepped into Facebook's turf or resisted pressure to sell, Zuckerberg would go into destroy mode, subjecting your business to the wrath of Mark. We spoke to Attorney General James in an exclusive interview. At the end of the day, what does this mean for a Facebook user? Some people believe that uh, Facebook is free. It really isn't free. Fact is, is that they use your personal data and they monetize it and they sell it to advertisers. And as a result of that, your data, your privacy, those protections are compromised. Back in 2012, the FTC itself approved Facebook's purchase of Instagram. The European Commission approving the purchase of WhatsApp just two years later. Now, Facebook blasting the lawsuits as revisionist history. In a statement, writing in part, the agencies found no risk of harm to competition in any potential market. Regulators correctly allowed these deals to move forward because they did not threaten competition. Adding, now many years later, with seemingly no regard for settled law or the consequences to innovation and investment, the agency is saying it got it wrong and wants a do-over. Over the summer, Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg making a similar argument when pressed by Congress. Mergers and acquisitions that buy off potential competitive threats violate the antitrust laws. In your own words, you purchased Instagram to neutralize a competitive threat. Why shouldn't Instagram now be broken off into a separate company? Congressman, I think the FTC had all of these documents and reviewed this and unanimously voted at the time not to challenge the acquisition. For today, Jolene Kent, NBC News.